A Hull firefighter is facing charges tonight, accused of filling fake prescriptions for powerful painkillers. And as Bill Shields shows us, investigators say this firefighter did this in uniform. His is a tragic story and sadly one that is becoming very common across the state. Police say 45-year-old Bill Hatfield is addicted to opiates, oxycodone. And today, the Hall firefighter was ordered into treatment. Sir, the court has ordered as a condition of your release that you abstain from the use of illicit drugs and alcohol. Hatfield has been a Hall firefighter for several years, and when he was injured, he was prescribed oxycodone. But when the prescription ran out, he started forging prescriptions like this to get his drugs. Ask any cop or court employee, and they'll tell you opiate addiction knows no boundaries. It, it really is straight out right throughout the state. And it cuts across economic lines, socioeconomic lines? Absolutely. Um, the, the rich, the poor, the middle, uh, it does not discriminate among classes. Sadly, this is what life has become for Bill Hatfield, but 10 years ago it was an entirely different story. In 2004, he helped deliver a baby that wouldn't wait to get to the hospital. You are a handsome little fella, aren't you? <laughs> Bill Hatfield helped deliver the baby that night 10 years ago, and the parents even named their newborn William. But today, opiates have put a stranglehold on this firefighter. In Plymouth, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Now, officials tell WBZ that Hatfield did seek treatment for addiction from the professional firefighters of Massachusetts, but then he stopped going.